my phone like glitched and it brought back pictures and videos that I have deleted and then deleted from recently deleted. That's weird. But I don't even think that is why I found a screenshot and one of my friends had actually titled this video and it's called What's it called? Like, stopping anxiety through affirmation? I don't even remember. I just know that I wanted to make a video all about affirmations and helping with anxiety. Do affirmations help you? Sometimes they help, but it's just, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Can we just talk about affirmations? The first one, see, this is exactly my problem. I love like writing a script so I know exactly what to say, but then I feel like I'm reading the script and then it's not like natural like we're having a conversation also it's getting really hot in here is it because of the fire i think i'm on my one two my like fourth therapist no fifth i think i've had five therapists in eight years and one of them i only saw like twice but i have a pretty good one right now that I'm really thankful for, and it's a psychotherapist. I have a friend, and I called him one day coming back from adoration, and I am almost home, and I noticed that he texted me a Bible verse that talks all about therapy. It's from Proverbs 11:14, and it says, where there is no guidance, a people falls, but in abundance of counselors, there is safety. He was kind of like a mentor slash therapist, but he hated being called a therapist. And he was just like, I just want to be a encourager in the Lord. And every time I'm like, I just come and dump my problems all on you. And he's like, we just put our burdens back on Jesus. Another affirmation when you're saying that things are too hard is don't let the devil tell you that it's too hard. God gives us struggles to conform us into his image and likeness if you're worried about the future then try saying or thinking or remembering that he meaning jesus will tell you what he wants you to do and it's all in his time when i was driving to uh, a show there's a song that i was listening to and i really like and it's called it's all gonna be fine that one actually really worked. Like, I was still nervous, but the show that I was nervous for ended up all being fine. So it's a good song and it's a good affirmation too. Perfect timing, because we have fire. This next one's all about dynamite. Sometimes it takes dynamite for us to change. Perhaps this is your dynamite. Maybe he, meaning Jesus, is trying to make a change in you. This one is really cute too. A lot of these came from um, the person that I was talking about earlier. And going through a really hard time, this friend was just like totally like in-house therapist. When he would like be preaching to me and I'm like, but how do you know this? This person said, because I know and I have a relationship with Jesus, and he tells me so. And so do you. Listen to him. Honestly, I'm so thankful for this person's relationship with Jesus because, like, very biblical, very just like, you know what I mean? Like, I pray for you every day and everything. This one is my favorite one. I'll give you the whole one, and then I'll tell you how I shorten it. Because the first part, you don't really need the first part, but I'm just gonna redo the whole thing anyway. When something like this comes up, though, it's better to drop it all off at the cross and let him do the work. I love that. And all you have to really say is drop it off at the cross and let him do the work. Like, I just use that little shortened part. And then you can say, drop it all off at the cross and let him do the work. I forgot the best part because he will. We have to have roadblocks. Without suffering, there is no salvation. Being in my friend's office, we had this really cute cross that I ended up getting um, 
when my coworker left. And it literally says, Jesus, that's cool. I would always play with this because it would always be like on the desks. Do you see it? It says J E and then here's the S U S. Isn't that so cool? We have to have roadblocks without suffering. There is no salvation. I love that one. Without suffering, there is no salvation. One of my favorite things um, when Father Mark Bernhard was at our church and he would lead Behold, and like being new to St. Mary's, there was a couple of times that we did like baptismal promises and we rebuked lies. And so I love this one too. It reminds me of that. Then rebuke all of those thoughts you have in the name of Jesus and move forward. This one's so hard. I love this one too, and it says you have to be the one willing to tell God exactly what's going on. I feel like there's been times too that like I feel things and I don't know what it is, and I'm I just ask Jesus to like sort it out for me. And sometimes I'm like, I still don't even know, but just sort it out. I think that's all of my affirmations. I like have them all right here so I can like see them when I walk through the door and like I just hang out. Just for privacy reasons I'm not going to show it but it's just like cute little like a whole bunch of churchy stuff and like stuff that people have given me and little quotes and song lyrics and screenshots of stuff from Facebook and it's a cute little board. I think that's all. I love this title. So shout out to my friend who titled it for me long, long, long ago. And I think that's it. So without further ado, let's say what I always say. Ciao, babes. <laughs>